Dr. Schlieffen, did the operation work? I do believe so, Commander Cody. You see, I used radiation to trigger their inhibitor chips once more. That way I didn't have to perform any type of surgery on them, thus minimizing the risk of brain damage. You see, the Kaminoans were quite crafty with the use of these inhibitor chips, but really they made extraction and fiddling with them tricky. I suppose they did that for a reason. Yes, yes doctor, thank you. You're free to go. Yes sir, I'll leave you to it then. The doctor left and Commander Cody was left alone in the room with Captain Rex. I swear, that doctor is putting on an accent. It sounds so fake. Regardless, how are you feeling, Rex? I... I feel like my own self again, sir. I think that doctor fixed me up right. I'm so sorry, Cody. I don't know what got into me. I don't know how I could have betrayed my brothers like that. It's alright, Rex. It's all okay now. You're back where you belong. And my goodness is it good to have us fighting on the same side again. It's gonna be like the glory days. Together, we'll bring back a good name to the clone troopers. Very good, sir. Where would you like me to start? Well, at the moment I have some business I gotta take care of. You just take some time to recuperate. You're going to need it for the coming battles. Cody left the room and Rex was left standing there, thinking. His brain was cloudy and hurt like heck, but he did know one thing for certain. He was gonna need to find a way to contact Rico. 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 Rico! Sarge, I'm ignoring you. You are just a figment of my imagination. The doctor said it was probably because of my lack of sleep or anxiety. Alright, I'll prove I'm real then. Ask me something only the real Sarge would know. What? That's not even applicable in this situation at all. Everything you know is what I know since you're just my conscience. Oh. Well, can you ask me something I wouldn't know? Well, it's good to see you're still as dense in my imagination as you were in your lifetime. Are you gonna bring up my spelling again? Because that just seems cheap after all these years. For someone so brilliant and strategically minded, the smallest things really are lost on you, huh Sarge? I'm not the one with the supposed imaginary friend. Ugh, you know what? I'm done with this. Outside of the room, Racket walked up to one of the armed guards that was keeping watch to protect Rico. Is he talking to himself again? Yes sir, I think it's gotten worse. Alright, keep this to yourself, Private. There's nothing to worry about. Racket walked into the room. Ah, Racket, finally. What have you got for me? Any luck with finding Captain Rex? No, sir. Our spies are completely mobilized, but they must be holding him in a secured facility, most likely alongside with Delta Squad. Hmm. Keep our spies on the alert. We need this intel. Very well, sir. And, uh, sir, I think you need to talk to someone. You're frightening some of the men, and I can't keep them quiet forever. One of them will eventually blab. It's under control, Racket. Now see to your duties. Far away from Rico on a starship, Mace Windu spoke with his Padawan. Can you feel his presence, my young apprentice? Slightly, Master. It's faint, but it's there. Can you? It's the same for me. I do believe he must have covered his aura somehow. How will we find him then? Leave that to me. I have Blitzer flying us to see an old friend. He will help us. Very well, Master. What should we do in the meantime? Keep doing your mental exercises. Leave the planning to me. Captain 55 arrived on Rico's military base and was greeted by Rico himself. Ah, uh, Captain 55, right? I'm surprised this is the first time we've actually met in person. Yes, sir. I feel like so much has been happening that we never happened to cross paths. That's probably what it is, but I'm happy to finally make your acquaintance. Me as well, sir. But if you don't mind me asking, what's this all about? I was pulled out of the cleanup fight on Kuwait by Racket and told to come here. Yes, yes, there's a far more important campaign that has come to our attention. You see, the rebels desperately want to get around the flank of the Empire's territory. Which is a smart idea, but in practice it's quite difficult. I would rather save our troopers for the fight on the front lines, but in order to keep good terms with the rebels, we kinda have to go along with their idea here. I see, sir. So that is where I come in, I assume? That's right. I want you and the 501st Legion to go with the Rebels to Felucia. The Rebels plan to be capturing the Northern Hemisphere, so you and your men will be attacking the South. Be careful though, Felucia is a hotbed for Imperial activity, as the natural resources on the planet are abundant. The Empire will fight tooth and nail to maintain control of it. 
Yes, sir. I will start remobilizing the men right away. Very good. And now, I know this is kind of informal, mainly because of the war and all that, so I wanted to promote you to commander. It's only right after the leadership skills you've exhibited while I was away. Thank you, sir. I'm truly honored by this promotion. I'm glad. I will order Captain Phantom, Captain Locker, and Lieutenant Whipper to finish up work on Kuat. A little later, 55 stood with some of his officers on board his ship. Alright lads, land your LAATs fast on the planet's surface. These stormtroopers are going to resist every step of the way. Glasden, you take a group of troopers on the right, and Meteor, you take some to the left. Mulder, you're with me down the middle. Now, let's take these guys down a peg. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and we're back with Season 3 of Rico's Brigade, the premiere, Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you, all that good stuff. I am so excited to get this series underway once more, and we are starting off with a banger episode on Fallujah. This is the introduction to the Battle of Fallujah that will be going on. Uh, right now, the clones are just sort of making their initial landing here, trying to get a foothold on this planet, uh, which could be very, very difficult for them, especially considering the rows and rows of trenches that the Imperials have set up here. For some reason, the Imperials really want to hold Fallujah and uh, the rebels really want to take it, which is why Rico is going along with their plan here, um, because he just needs the rebel alliance on his side. He can't risk not helping them and then uh, losing that valuable ally. So, like I was saying, the Imperials have rows and rows of trenches with a variety of soldiers within them. They also have two ATSTs back here that are going to be coming forward as support. They have one TX-130T Imperial uh, variant up here. Then they have two of these tank destroyers, which by the way look really, really cool. I dig it. Um, one there and then one over here. As for 55's troopers, so 55 and Mulder, Mulder's right here, this bad Larry, um, they have landed with their 501st LAATs with a sizable mound of troopers. They have two ATTE tanks, and then they have three TX-130Ts. One TX-130T is here with Mulder and 55. One TX-130T is over here uh, with our boy Meteor. And then one TX-130T is over here with our boy Glasden. Um, so they'll all be attacking together. Of course, since it's Rico's Brigade, I am allowed to control the units um, since it plays out a bit more like a mission in these series. And if you're new to the series, because we have had a lot of subscribers since Season 2, uh, I hope you enjoy. I'd recommend going back and watching Season 1 and Season 2 if you've uh, missed those. But, I mean, you could always just pick up at Season 3, I suppose, though it might be a little bit confusing with all the characters. Um, so yeah, I think we're just about ready to go underway. Real quick, I wanted to take a moment to thank Artvro58, um, one of the mod makers for Galaxy at War Mod. He was so nice as to port all of the Galaxy, well, port and retexture, so they look really, really nice, all of those old Rico's Brigade characters and Daily Squad characters into um, the newest version of the Galaxy at War mod, so huge thank you to him. His Twitter and ModDB page will be in the description below. I would really appreciate it if you go check him out because he has done so much for this channel. And of course, thank you to you guys for sticking around for what is starting out as the third season, and each season you guys get it more and more into the series, and that's really heartwarming to me because I spend a lot of time on these, and um, I really want you guys to enjoy them. So thank you to you guys, and thank you to Art for all. All right. I'll be right back and we'll get this started. All right, boys, let's get into it. Gonna go ahead and press start here. And the ATTEs, like Rico estimated, instantly come under fire here because the Imperials want to put a stop to this invasion almost immediately. Uh, these tank destroyers, by the way, look at that gunner on top. That looks absolutely dope. And of course, their cannons are extremely powerful. They're tank destroyers, after all. So um, they've got the goods to take out some tanks. So they're brawling right now with some of these ATTEs. A couple rockets, in fact, coming from the trenches below, hitting uh, the ATTEs here. ATTEs need to start working on taking these bad Larrys out. They took out the TX-130T over here. That's good on them. That'll help out 
tremendously, I bet, except both of them are now on fire, and uh, there goes the top crew gunner for this one right here. It's now spinning out of control. Its buddy has gone down. Oh, and it goes down too. That is no bueno. They did manage to take out that tank destroyer over here, but there is still a tank destroyer on this end, this way, and a uh, ATXT, or sorry, ATST coming forward. Uh, that is no bueno. Do we, I, I think it's time for me to uh, interfere a little bit here, help out our boys. Well, we need to, there's one hit. There is still two TX-130Ts I'm seeing on the minimap. There we go, took out one of those. And then uh, I think we can check in over here because Glasden was in pain. Glasden's still alive? I don't know. This is going to be a tough battle. We are seriously outnumbered and going up against um, entrenched defenders. So I imagine we might lose a couple of uh, named characters here. Although, I mean, we did just name them at the beginning of Season 3. So it's not like we have a close attachment to any of them. Except maybe 55. People do tend to love 55. Um... So, I'll try my best to keep my boy alive. Is he even alive right now? Wait, hold up. <laughs> what if 55 is just dead right now? I don't see his body. Maybe he's forward somewhere. The second you hear that thump of the, um, uh, the DC-15X sniper rifle, then you're like, oh yeah, 55 still alive, my boy. But I'm not seeing him quite yet. I'm also not seeing him dead yet, so... Uh, there's still a chance. Either way, 501st is coming up against uh, this first trench here on the left side. They're making quick work of it, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, they're doing a good job. TX-130T did end up actually heading north towards the um, the base here. And uh, it seems to be taking it on. This rocket trooper, there's no way it's going to hit it. A couple guys up here defending, looking good. Ooh, huge explosions hitting. This tank destroyer is not really doing too much at the moment. I suppose that's a good thing. I'm just sort of letting things play out. I only really want to interfere when it's, um, you know, dire times and things like that. When the AI's going strong and able to do it themselves, I always kind of like to just sort of sit back and watch. I think it's more fun that way. Uh, these clones also starting to head up the mountainside here. There's only one um, Stormtrooper left alive, and he goes down pretty, pretty easily there. That's good to see. Ooh, Tank Destroyer over here is actually flaming now. Good to know. Ooh, TX-130T went down in a burst of flames. Looks like that rocket trooper did end up getting that kill. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, hey, there's um, there's Mulder right there. And, uh, oh, there's 55. My boy's still alive with his DC-15X. All right, 501st pushing onwards right now. In all directions, heading on forward. Ooh, someone grenaded up this way. Didn't seem to amount to much. This is going to be tough right here, I have a feeling. Because the 501st has to come up over this hill where they're just going to have a wall of... Yep, just like that. They're just going to have a wall of laser fire underneath waiting for them. So, uh, this could definitely turn out rather poorly for the 501st. Or it could work well. I'm not totally sure. By the way, guys, for this season of Rico's Brigade, uh, we're obviously using the newest version of the... Um, the Galaxy at War mod. We're done with that old version, hopefully for good, because I don't I don't particularly love using it because it's very glitchy and ends up uh, crashing quite a bit and things like that. So uh, I'd much prefer to continue using this, and this is the first Rico's Brigade episode where we're going to be able to do so, so I'm pretty hyped to start using all the new stuff um, finally for Rico's Brigade. Like I thought, Rico's Brigade is taking a lot of losses here, um, but luckily these guys actually over here on the far left are managing to cut into the enemy stormtroopers from the side. Meanwhile, these guys, Glasnan's troopers, are coming down from the top as well, so it's resulting in the stormtroopers getting cut to bits pretty good here. Ooh, that was a spicy... What a grenade! Holy cow, that was really good! There you go, guys. You don't often see the um, AI pulling off spicy grenades. I think uh, if we could get a few troopers... Oh yeah, we got, we got troopers to spare over here. If we could get some attacking here on this right side, that would actually help out quite a bit. Uh, it would cut into these guys here. Someone is shooting explosive rounds over it. Oh, this TX-130T flanked around. What a flanker -oony. One heck of a flanker -oony. All right, 55 troopers coming up here. A um, couple of them went down, but now some of them are establishing a bit of a uh, defensive area on top of this hill, which is nice. It's always good to have the high ground, but they are getting hit by some of those um, static shock rifle shots. Um, those things are never very fun to go up against. 
Yeah, Glasnan's troopers are having some serious trouble down here. I think we're going to rush a few soldiers from both the top and down here to this trench here and, uh, and try and get them firing in from the side a little bit closer behind cover. Hopefully this helps out a little bit. I think it will. Very good. Let's check in on the left over here. All right, so looks like actually our 501st troopers over here, commanded by... Um, uh, oh, here, we've actually got Meteor, Mulder, and 55 all together, although I don't see 55 currently, um, but they're all, all, all together here. Um, they're attacking this little, uh, top side base here. Yeah, you guys, you guys fall back. This is not a good position to be in. If I can afford to, uh, save the commander's lives, I'm, I'm gonna try, you know? Alright, here we go. Now we're taking this, uh, this position here. Nice job. Although, we, it seems like the AI lost quite a number of 501st troopers before I ever got here to um, to help out a little bit there. Oh, there's also troopers down here. Ooh. Looks like some of our 501st lads are having a little trouble there. Um, here, we got Meteor and Mulder together. We'll, we'll launch them into assault. Coming around the flank here from the downside. Gotta watch our backs, though. Okay, get in there. Hey, there you go. Come on. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Good job, good job. Okay, here we go. Now we're pushing in on this base here. Looks like our guys, they do have some pretty dece, pretty dece uh, cover up here. That can definitely help out if we utilize it properly. So let's get our troops behind there. Uh, we're likely going to take some losses up here. Hopefully we can minimize that as best as possible. Checking back in on the right over here, Glasden. Finally taking these trenches over here. Um, took a lot of losses on this hill, but um, we did it. We finally, we took it. So that's good to know. There is one more trench way, way back here that we're going to have to deal with. Looks like it is taking losses already. This TX-130T, by the way, is really doing a solid job. It looks like I think it did end up taking out that tank destroyer. I just sort of realized we never really checked in on that tank destroyer to see how it's doing. So um, if that TX-130T can continue to sort of do some damage... We'll keep it out of far here, but we'll keep it firing. Um, infantry weapons aren't able to do a ton of damage to it, so um, keeping it at a distance over there should help a little bit. All right, we're going to start positioning Glasden's troopers around. We're going to shoot some to the right over there. Um, a small small little amount to the left, and then Glasden, why don't you go yeah, a little bit more down the middle, sort of. So we'll get some heading up onto this hill here. And then once they're up top here, lay down some fire, boys. Oh, apparently those guys are blocked by that bush and can't fire or something. There we go. Now they're firing a bit more. Here's Glasden up here himself. Glasden's troopers are not with him. Glasden, watch out, watch out, watch out. Whew. He, took, he took some heat there. And his, his soldiers are not helping. Guys, y'all y'all have to fire. Y'all got to... Okay. Okay. This is uh, not looking too great. Alright, TX-130T is kind of on its last legs. I was trying to avoid coming too close because then enemy weapons are more effective. But if we could... That that was a good shot. And then I want to rotate around and try and get a nice... Okay! Yeah, it's down. It's down big time. I wanted to come around and try and get like a beefy shot in here just to weaken it up. You know, do a little bit of help for Glasden. Do a little bit of help for 55 over here. But uh, didn't end up getting that. So... What I think we should do is I think we should focus on Glasden's area over here first. Just because we did get that nice beefy shot over here. It looks like it took out at least a few troopers. Um, and this trench is already pretty down. So if we can cut across this way, take out this trench first, and then push in simultaneously from the right over here going in this way, plus from the top down then we will be a very, very effective fighting force, hopefully. So, that's the plan. We will see if it works. Um, Alright, big push from over here. Big push. Oh, there's a shock trooper. Alright, you guys need to concentrate fire on that one dude. Did they take him out? I think they did. Nice. Alright, now push in. Go, 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 go. Okay, shotgun soldier. He reached for the grenade. What a fool. What an absolute fool. Get in the trench, boys. Get in the trench. Nice job. Uh, follow up with more troopers coming in from the front. 
you guys push in. That trench has some nice curvature to it, so we will get a little bit of cover fire over here. You guys going up in the front, getting heavily grenaded. Okay, there's so many grenades, I'm just not going to move everyone. Okay, it seems like those grenades weren't that effective. I was thinking, like, if I move people away from these grenades, then it's more likely they will die from the grenades. So I didn't really want to do that. Okay, this trench has been taken. Good job. And Glasden looks like he was coming down from the top with some troopers too, so very nice. I want to acc accumulate the remaining Glasden troopers. There might also be a few 55 troopers in here, but I doubt very many. Try and get them all over onto this side. That's what we're doing here. And seems to be working out. What's going on over here? Why is there- Oh my god, there's still one enemy soldier right here. I wanna try and like... Let's see. <laughs> Just nicked him. Nice. Okay. Alright, soldiers, now that you're all concentrated over here, try and get to this side trench over here, because then we can do crossfire. Two squads in that trench. Um, the rest of you just sort of migrate to wherever you like. And then, once those guys are in position, seems like they're getting there. We're going to hit them from over here. All right, so Mulder and Meteor are still alive. Okay. You guys are going to head down to this, like, pond area over here, I guess. And then I don't think they'll be able to hit us through that foliage too much. So we can sort of hop across this way. All right, these guys over here are engaging from the side. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, uh, Meteor and Mulder can attack from that angle, and you guys are gonna charge down. This is risky. This is risky. This is risky. It's, uh, it's happening. It's happening. We need everyone. We need you all. A couple of you guys can get into that position there, too. Wow! This has not worked out, and, <laughs> Meteors! Wait, did I accidentally click them that way, or did they retreat? They might have retreated. Wow. Okay, guys. You know, get on the ground there. I think these guys are... Oh, they're not in safe positions, actually. Retreat, retreat. How's it going over here, Glasden? Yeah, you guys seem to be feeling the pain. We're calling off the attack for now. Get on the ground if you can. On to the ground, comrades. On to the ground. There's all these troopers still back here, too. Should bring them forward. 55's got to be somewhere on here. By the way, we should really heal all of our soldiers, too. Because, uh, as they are right now, they, they could use some help. Oh, here's 55. 55 was just hanging in the back. All right. Fair play, 55, I guess. This trench is the hardest one, I think. Well, maybe this one. I don't know. They're both hard, man. <laughs> They are certainly both hard. Hard to take. Right, we're gonna reprop these guys up. Yeah. Get in the trench, guys. Get in the trench. Get there. Very nice. There's Glasden working his magic. Why don't you get on the ground, Glasden? Or, or get back up. Okay. You know what? He's right. He, we need our. Uh, we need our leaders being confident here. They gotta, they gotta help our boys out. What if we cut down this way? Alright, 55's in this group, so we're gonna cut him that way. Get more troopers to that direction over there. Alright, are you guys... 55, you got the DC-15 next, my man. You gotta, you gotta really carry the team on your back right now. There we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We're just like head shooting them from a distance with the DC 15X. Yes. Okay. They can't even do that much damage to us because they've got weak baby weapons while we have the monster weapon. Let's see. Can we? Oh, okay. It's kind of a lot of them. Eh, get back, heal up a little bit there. Never surrender. Hey, don't don't head don't be heading forward without my command, sir. Sir, yeah, you know what? Fine. Okay, he died. <laughs> uh, this is slowly falling apart. Um. Huh. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't... This is getting hard. Um, yeah, you guys need to chill. Okay. Ah, no, stop firing. Everyone needs to stop. Preserve troops. Preserve them. Okay. We need to figure this out. We need to get serious here. Not that I wasn't serious before. Glasden, you need to heal because apparently you're almost dead. Um, We're proud to serve you, General. <sighs> First of all, oh, that's another sniper. A sniper is challenging you, 55. What are you going to do about it? You going to miss every single shot? Yep. Yeah. Are we not able to hit this guy? What? 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 <laughs> all right. I think we need to be a little bit more sneaky beaky In terms of, uh, oh, this guy's, you've only got E11s, so, oh, they were shooting at actually our friend, I just heard the death screen from him, scream. I'm getting shot here. All right, you, you gotta be brave here, 55, because these troopers are able to fire at you, but, I mean, look, his DC-15X is even having extreme damage drop off at this vast distance and inaccurate so these guys are like missing almost every shot like they're not being very effective at all so I, I don't know I was trying to maybe get a few head shoots in there 55 you should probably heal a little bit like you know cut cut the uh, enemy down a size but it just didn't work out alright go up Mulder you lad 15 kills, that's not bad. Can we maybe crawl you forward and hit... Nope. Uh! <laughs> oh my god, that shredded his health. Uh, get a little bit further back. Then heal. There you go. Alright, Meteor, how about you? We're gonna... Try and do a little sneaky here. Sneaky beaky with the old grenadey weighty. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, go back to normal speed. No, Meteor, why would you fire? You absolute dunce. That's alright, I think we can still actually hop around here with little to no trouble. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. That's gonna be beautiful. Rico would be proud of this grenade. He's gonna grenade back at us. So, oh, nice, nice deflect. Nice one. And they did not deflect yours. And you got the blaster kill on that guy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's really good. Throw another one out there. Kapuya. Aw, oh, Meteor. Aw, oh, Meteor. You are an absolute legend. There you go. One more for good measure on this last guy. Skadoosh. Boom. Very nice. Alright, this trench is taken. This trench is taken. Now there's this entire trench back here. Alright, what we're gonna do. Glasden, you and your three troopers go on no fire mode. Y'all are crawling. Crawl into those woods back there. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna crawl through these woods. This is the game plan. We're going full sneaky beaky. Everyone's on return fire mode now. You guys crawl this way. Alright. And then 55 and his lads up here. Everyone return fire mode. You guys are going to hop into that trench. I don't think they need to crawl. I don't think the enemy will notice. Okay, so we, we're looking at a solid garrison of troopers here. This one trooper could pose a problem because he might spot our guys. Actually, I don't think he will. I think we'll be okay. Oh, okay. Get into the trench. Get into the trench. Get into the trench. Ooh. All right. Oh, wait. That trooper, actually, the one who I was kind of worried about, 
He's like poking through this way. Re er, 55 might be able to... Oh, we got a headshot. Maybe not a headshot, but we hit something. Hey, we got the kill. Nice. Okay. So I actually took care of that guy right there. All right. Mulder and Meteor's troopers over here are now Shoot. One kill. We're proud to serve in an General. okay position. Um, right, Crawling this lad forward. We're only going to really get one shot at this, in all honesty. Just healing that guy. The idea is that we gotta get off like some real spicy grenades here. We gotta gotta hit them with the grenades. Actually, Weapons check. you actually we'll we'll bring two troopers with this guy. We do our job. You two head this way. Actually, just bring everyone. Just bring everyone. Okay, we're getting shot at. So run. Yeah, run. Go, 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 buddies, you're dead. Okay, 55 and the other guy made it, though. Very nice. <laughs> um, we're going to crawl them to where this guy actually died and hide them. And then, okay, so real quick, just, just heal if anyone needs to. Just heal up a little bit. Okay, crawl. These troops forward a little bit. These troops over here, you can crawl. One shot, one kill. Forward two. Okay. Now you guys get on the ground, crawl that way. I think we can go fast speed right now. All right. So we're just kind of surrounding them. At the moment, this is the hardest position right here because we're uphill to them, whereas these guys are going to be in a divot to them, so we can always like slink backwards if we really need to. Well, those other guys aren't going to be in that nice position. Are you guys able to crawl under that? Or you can crawl like kind of through it. Nice. Never surrender. All right. Normal speed. Clone trooper standing by. All right. I think we're going to start with these troopers. First grenade's going to come from these guys. So the enemy still thinks we're all like on that hill, I think. Enemy forces inbound. And if we could actually get behind this cover here... Nope, we can't. Just get that grenade out! No, son! Alright, these guys are going to have to wait then. Glaskin's troopers are going to have to distract then. Alright, so crawl on forward here, buddy. Try and get like yeah, as far into this divot as possible. Because then just maybe those other troopers aren't going to hit you. Don't bunch up. Oh, okay. Well, he got gunned down by that machine gunner right quick. But uh, he did take out a squad, so now they're all focused over there. The men are ready, so now we can hit them from this side. Mayhaps. Let's crawl this troop forward. See, they're all distracted now. Okay, cook it ever so lightly. Take him out. Oh no! What, what, what? That didn't get a single kill? Are you kidding me? <sighs> alright, alright. Well, back to over here. You can't negotiate so we're only going one trooper at a time, which gives us a little leeway. We can this distract, hit from another angle, distract, area. hit from another angle. Of course, we actually have to get the kills here, too, at some point. Alright, throw the grenade, then run. Run! Run! Oh, no! Okay, he's down. All right, 55 still alive. We got two in that one, I think. All right, now we're gonna hit from over here again. Clones keep the scrap All right, <laughs> pretty soon we're only gonna have commanders alive because I'm using all the ordinary troops to do the dirty work. We're gonna go for that group of four. Sir, yes, sir. No, that, that gunner is likely to hit us again. So if we could do a quick, all right, go in slow-mo for this one. 
All right, so we might need to, all right, so we're gonna pull the pin. One, two, uh, yeah. throw it now. Quick weapon switch, weapon switch, weapon switch, weapon switch, there you go. Before it explodes, you gotta get your weapon out. Buddy, get your weapon out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You fool. And there we go, bingo. Oh, get that guy too. Nice one. Uh, now these guys, maybe? Can you slink back, maybe? Oh, I think we can... Oh, no! That trooper got into position. Really? It only killed one of those guys. They must have ducked out of the way real fast. All right, well, there's still only three in the back lines now. That's good. We're down to seven troopers, by the way. That's not great. All right, no, we're not going to use Mulder quite yet. <laughs> yeah, we're really, we're keeping these um, commanders alive for as long as possible. All right. I mean, I'd rather have named troopers live than regular troopers, but... Oh, God, really? Oh, my God. All right, Mulder's just out of their sight, I think. How are they? They're like onto us, like glue. Yes, All right, 55. You're the only one left alive over here, so actually, maybe you could like head shoot some guys here, because I I think yeah, we might be able to do some like hit and run stuff with 55. Nope. Ugh. We got like weird angles with him. Maybe we don't. All right, he took some damage there. Go slink away. Glasden over here, buddy. If you can get those three, then I think you're okay over here. Like, you can just sort of chill over this way. Because I don't think the enemies that are that far away can hit you. Alright, chuck that and then run. Good one. And we made it back to the forest and no one was the wiser. Hey, cool. Glasden, way to go, bud. Way to go. Alright, another yes, another rando trooper over here. This has really turned into desperation battle. What was once a epic and enthralling start de-escalated. De Pretty hard. Alright, let's see. Uh, eh. Alright, now run, buddy. Nice one. For some reason, they just won't shoot Mulder right there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right. 55, buddy. Buddy. Ooh, that was spicy. Oh, we're just not able to get a good kill with him. It's real tough. Real tough. All right, I think it's like... Kind of up to these troopers. Everyone else has used their cheeky grenade positions. Like, we can't get these guys much closer. Take out the old whip a snap a grenade. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah! Oh. Blast it! Blast it! Alright. Alright. Oh, there's gonna be a firefight. Okay, all right. You didn't have your gun reloaded, and you just took a bunch of fires, so heal real quick, buddy. But you... I think that... No, that's an E11 shotgun. It's better than the current weapon we have. I was thinking maybe one of these carbines would be one of the zappy guns on the ground, but I don't think they are. That's shotgun ammo. Might as well take the good weapons. Oh, yeah. How far... We'd have to get a lot closer to get a grenade off. But, what we could do... Is this shotgun weapon tends to be pretty good at... I mean, 34 meters away, that's not too far. Actually, I don't even think that's meters, that might be like feet. One hit. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, buddy. Whew, Glasden, you just took a lot of fire! Did that guy... Did the other guy die? No, but we can't hit him. All right. General. 55 over here. Oh my god, why? Has the DC-15X, like, been nerfed? 
Like, now it takes, like, two shots to kill. All right, heal again. That's your last healing pack. All right, you boys over here. The last unnamed clone is crawling on forward here. You know what? Maybe we could go do a little slow-mo action here. No, you know what? That's stupid. I'm gonna just crawl forward a little bit here. Yeah, now go in slow-mo. Hit this guy with everything you got, buddy. Oh, that guy's got a super flipping weapon. I was going to try and do like a quick rotation and then hit the other guy, but... Yep, just dying there instead. Ah! Oh, okay, get on the ground. Huh. <sighs> um... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think this is winnable. What are you guys shooting at? He's on the ground. I don't know what they're doing. Oh my god. What about like... Alright. Meteor. You're gonna head back here. What about weapons on the ground? What about like... Some... There's machine guns and stuff. Maybe if we could find like one of those zappy guns. E11, heavy repeater. Sniper. Ooh, rocket launcher. Wait a minute. <laughs> this could be a game changer. Pick up that rocket launcher. Is it this guy? Guys, like rocket launcher? Could be. Let's check it out. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Also, pick up his grenades and health, too, because he's probably going to need it by the end of this battle. Out, All right, buddy. All right, meteor. Meteor's got 10 kills, Mulder only has 4, Glasden only has 4, 55 has 8. Not bad, not bad. Alright. What's the best angle to hit this with? Would maybe be like... Yeah! Hit and run! We got a kill too. All right, now, we do our job well. 55, why don't you pick up this guy's health pack? He doesn't have any, okay. Um, how about this guy's health pack? We can you know, supplement your health a little bit there. Glasden, you might be able to pop out. Oh yeah, take that health pack. Glasden, you can pop out. There you go, there's a kill, there's a kill. See, we gotta use this cover nicely. Wow, really? Ah, at least we're able to like duck 55 down real quick before he gets like absolutely shredded or whatever, you know? That is kind of the nice part. Alright, can we... Nice. Oh god! Run, 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 buddy! Oof, okay. Oh, thank goodness we got all this cover around these uh, these trenches here. Uh, okay. Ow. You need to heal again. Oh my god. I'm like really worried it's only a matter of time before. Uh. <laughs> Just spam as much as possible. Glasden's in a prime spot to pick him off one by one. Ow. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Shotgun always wins face-to-face -face duels. Yeah, actually shrink him back a little bit here. Doesn't have any health bars. Or med packs. Whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Um, before he can heal, we need to divert their attention again. One shot, one kill. God! What in the world... How can we not get these kills with uh, the DC-15X? Seriously, it should be like a one-shot. It's just like not happening though. Never right. We might actually have loosened things up enough for Meteor to crawl forward with this big bad Larry. The, um, the rocket launcher here. 
we might be able to get a nice rocket shot out. Hit him hard. Hit him where it hurts. All right, buddy. Get that rocket launcher out. Hmm. We'll follow you anywhere, sir. Hmm. It's tricky. We'll follow huh. you anywhere, sir. Fifty-five. You okay? Wait, we got this guy in a glitch spot. That's it, that's it. See, the other guys couldn't hit us, but only that guy could. 55, you need to heal. Oh my god. Uh, looks like Glasden healed by himself. Yeah, keep your shotgun out there, buddy. Alright, get ready over there. Meteor. Oh, that was a disaster. Uh-oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, Meteor, run. Oh. Oh, God. Yep. Okay. Ah, oh, Meteor, goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Yes, General. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. Until we've He's the gonna get a copy strike now. Okay. He's just unconscious. <laughs> wow. Oh god. Oh, Glaston. One more hit like that, and I think he's dead. You can't get up, buddy. You gotta stay on the ground. You, please, please stay on the ground. Glasden! Get on the ground! Buddy! Ah! <laughs> Thank God he didn't get tased again with that thing. Never surrender. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, Mulder. Let's move on. Do something here, buddy. <laughs> Help us. Please tell me he can grenade from this distance from behind cover. Please. What is happening? Glasden. Oh, he got up to heal. Buddy. Okay. Nope. Okay. I think at least he healed like a little bit before taking all that fire, so... It actually like saved his life there minorly. Eat that forward. Nice. That's huge. Why is this not killing? Oh, jeez. Yeah, keep on the ground there. Glasden, why don't you heal up real quick? Real schwick. Well, Mulder, I was... Okay. Really? I think you have to enter into the trench through, <laughs> through the entrance instead of crawling over. I don't know, that's stupid. Actually, I think Mulder, if he sticks to this trench line here, we might be able to just get a get a few grenades in and, and win the day. Glasden, what are you doing? Or are they just shooting warning shots? That might be what they're doing. It's entirely possible. Alright. Big Daddy Grenade coming on up. All right. Minimal casualties. Another big daddy grenade. They're throwing their own big daddy grenade. No, hold it. No, no, hey, ah. Look at his health. Oh my god, he's zero. And we can't get up to. Oh my god, he's got no grenades. All right, can you back up and like? Oh jeez, this is not good. Mulder. Oh, Mulder's dead. Oh, okay. He got eviscerated. Oh my god, 55, you are really not doing good here. Glasden, you gotta crawl your way forward. Get get into Mulder's position, because it wasn't a bad position. He just ran out of grenades, so he couldn't he couldn't keep up that sort of pressure that we had going, so 
maybe if you get back to where he was, you've got grenades, right? Yeah, you, you got grenades. He's also got that shotgun, which if we know anything from World War One, it's that shotguns are beautiful in trenches. They're just amazing. All right, Glaston in 55. It's come down to you two. Mulder and Meteor dying. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to make new characters. <laughs> All right, just grenade here. All right, that's that's more like it. Yeah, Glaston is not even really like a. He's just a named character. Like he's nothing big. Oh, that's a grenade incoming. Oh yes, we crawled just far enough away that did no damage. Um. Lay down cover fire. Yeah, like Gla Glasden barely holds a position of rank. In all honesty, oh god. Comes another grenade. Crawl away. Nice. Right, 55, you wanna alleviate some pressure here? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna really zoom in on this guy's head. There we go. Only took a headshot. Oh, they're focusing over there. Oh nice one. Kapuya. <laughs> okay, well, we did it. Um, <laughs> my god, this was insane. So Glasden and 55 are left alive. 55 has 11 kills. Glasden has 13. You two mad lads. I mean, to be fair, I protected them pretty hard and sacrificed every other soldier except for them. So there's that. They also had, like, slightly above normal health because, I mean, you guys know I do that with commanders anyway. So they had, like, I think it was 250 health. So about two times as much health as the normal character. So um, nothing exceptional, you know. They just they live longer probably as a factor of that plus me sort of babysitting them this entire video, I think, is the real reason they lived. Um, but they did it. They captured the place. Um and they, but with great cost. Let's check it out. Yellow are dead clones. Lots of dead in the beginning over here on the right. Not so much on the left. I mean, there's a few, but not nearly as many, except for, of course, the two ATTEs. Um, then it seemed like we did okay on the this area over here. Um, up until here, where we lost a good number of troopers and a little bit down here. Um, up top here, we clearly lost a good chunk of our army. This was This was a tough area. Um, on the opposite side, this hill was brutal. Man, if we had maybe come out of this with half as many more troopers as we did, we the rest might have been easy sailing, but it wasn't. Um, over here, also surprisingly a tough battle. Um, yeah, this was, this was hard. This was not easy. We lost troopers every single step of the way. Imperials had a solid defense here, but we managed to uh, break through it, which was very, very nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sincerely, I really hope you did. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe if you did indeed enjoy it. And um, check out the rest of Rico's Brigade if you haven't already. Uh, new episodes every Saturday as usual. Um, links in the description can lead you to my uh, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Overtone team, all those things. I'd love to get more followers on all of them if you guys would like to check those out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this premiere of Rico's Brigade. Much more exciting stuff to come, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.